We need a second climbing frame for the goats. So there's kind of two main reasons why we need a new climbing frame for the goats. So they've already got their one, their big one already, and I want a second one over the down there in the corner because firstly, Henry and Oscar, it'll keep them busy, it's something to do. And they also like standing on here looking at the fox, but the fox sits all the way over there in the corner, right? So having the new climbing frame over there, Henry and Oscar can just stand there and stare at the fox. And for the second reason, for the new goats we're getting in a few weeks, there is a link up there to the two videos I made so far on them. The first one is why we're getting the goats, why I need two more goats. I don't need them, I kind of just want them. But you know, why we're getting the two more goats. And then the second one I've made so far is the actual goats I've got. Um, I've paid the deposit now, they are my goats. It's so exciting that I will be getting them, like they are mine. I've just got to talk to the people um, when I'm exactly getting them and the goats new shed, Henry and Oscar's new shed, was meant to be coming on Wednesday, but I haven't heard anything like about delivery to plan a time slot, so who knows? So the kind of main reason why we need it for the new kids, firstly, it gives them somewhere to go, because obviously Henry and Oscar um, and the new kids, they're gonna get a bit of head butty and chasey. Henry and Oscar gonna chase them around the field, I'm pretty sure. So basically give them somewhere to hide and go. If Henry and Oscar on this one, for example, they can go on that one. And then if Henry and Oscar on that one, they can go on this one. Basically it can give them a break from Henry and Oscar and a bit of peace and a bit of space. I've also had an idea for what we can do in the future with the new climbing frame from when the new kids have their kids, if that makes sense. Cause I want to breed them in the future. Also, if you're interested, this is Henry. And Oscar is over there. We're going to have a look at him in a minute. Yeah, they're both pygmy goats as well. They're closing in on two years and they're both weathers, which means they've been castrated. So the idea, the plan is we're going to do something very similar to what you see in front of you here. But um, it's going to be a bit smaller because obviously this is the main one. This is the main place they play. And I want to have a smaller one over there that's not as big, but still gives them plenty of space. This climbing frame is really interesting because I made it with three different techniques. It's all made of wooden pallets, but it's kind of three different ways I put it together. And if you're interested in how I made that, I've got two videos on my channel in the GOAT playlist on how I made those. And uh, yeah, there's also plenty of other videos in that playlist as well about Henry and Oscar. So this first section was the first one we made and it's very simple. The pallets are just stacked up and um, aren't connected in any way. This is connected though because they have pushed that off so many times. The main drawback to that, however, is Henry and Oscar, when they brush alongside it to itch themselves, or they even start headbutting it, they just push it over. In some cases, the um, pallets will come off and that's why the bit that they walk across to get to the higher bit is drilled on because they would just always push that off. For this second section, you can see there's brackets there. And um, I use brackets basically to hold it in place to see how well they worked. And they're a really, really effective way of doing it. It's properly solid, this one. So as you can see, we've got these brackets on the outside holding it down. And then on the inside, we've got these angled ones here, which are properly solid. And this is definitely not going anywhere. So this third section is probably the easiest to build because you don't need brackets but it is a far more solid than this option here. And this is just to drill it in place, you know. There's no brackets involved. It is a little bit more flimsy, but it's perfectly safe for them. And it's a lot more cost effective because you don't have to keep buying brackets. But yeah, that section of the climb frame still is pretty solid and it's not going anywhere. The goats can't break it and it's very safe for them to go on. So for the new climb frame, this is what we've got so far. This bit's still a work in progress though. This is it then. This is their second climb frame in its first stages. We'll talk about this in a second because this is not permanent in any way. It's not really that solid but we'll talk about this bit first now this this is like what what it is made of this is incredible so we've got one proper solid pallet on the top that's not going anywhere that's robust that's they can't destroy basically and then below we've got four pallets which are the same type pallets it's very easy to make it when you're using four of the same pallets you just put them in a square drill them all in place so it's nice and solid and they're not not knocking it over anytime soon just look at that proper proper climbing frame this is this is good the main problem i have though you can see they're all different shapes and sizes of pallets none of them are the same unlike these um four i used to make the square around here which is going to make it very difficult to make a proper a box like this so i could just leave it as the stack but i'm going to try my best to make like another box sort of thing here yeah right henry come across and again come on And the rest of the build for this climbing frame, this section, 
and the final section is probably going to go back here that will be in a future video so if you're interested in the new climbing frame and want to see how it's made do give us a subscribe and ring the notification bell so you're notified when we upload that video it'll probably be in the next two or three videos because i've got a few a few ideas planned now um up until we get the new goats so thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one